Okay, so we see that A matches with A because we have a coefficient of Y that's 4, and this is 4 wide. 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's see, B. B is, looks like 2 wide, so that must go with this one. C is 8 wide, so C is here. And this one is 4 wide as well, but we know that it's shifted over 3 and down 2. So this one's B. Okay? So we're going to use all that today. We're going to use how wide it is, and we're going to talk about the distance from the directrix to the vertex and the vertex to the focus, because it's all related. Yes? Is there a mathematical way to find the focal point? Yes. Um, <laughs> using, it's derived from the distance formula. As long as you have a piece of the puzzle, you can figure it out. Does that make sense? No, you have to have pieces. It can't come out of thin air. But you can investigate and like use everything that you've got and then find it. Yeah. And we will. Probably. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yes. Well, normally, all righty. Okay, so if this is P, that's the dip, that we're going to use this letter P now, okay? So this nice letter P, let me change my color, is the distance from the directrix to the to the vertex and the vertex to the focus. Well, this happens to be 2T. So that means that this whole thing is four p. Okay. So, Gary. So if you know how wide it is, you already know how much how much this distance is. Correct. So if I said, let's work backwards. If I said that this distance was but if I said this distance was 8, could you tell me how far the focus, I'm sorry, the vertex is from the directrix? Right? Because if this whole thing is 8, then this is 4. This right here is 4. And if this is 4, then this must be 2. And in reverse, if I tell you how much this is, you can tell me how wide it is. Correct? Okay. Fantastic. So, did you guys get in your notes the uh, um, the notes from Monday? Did you guys do that? Okay. So maybe we'll do that on maybe we'll do that on Monday. Tuesday. Thank you. Okay. So here's our formal definition: Any point on a parabola is equidistant from a fixed point and a fixed line. So that's what we've already kind of gone over, right? All right, so students will be able to sketch a parabola and write its equation given the focus and the directrix. That's what we're going to do today. Okay, so where is the parabola for units y? At the focal point, yes. So if it's four units wide here, then I know that it's two here, and one here, good. And that would be the equation of this parabola. 4y equals x squared. All right, so I'm going to call p is 1. My focus is at 0, 0. Sorry, 0, 1. 
and my directrix is y equals negative 1. Correct? C. Okay, so let's say now my parabola is 8 units wide. That's what this tells me right here. That's what this number is. Tells me it's 8 units wide. If it's 8 units wide, right here, 8 units wide, then how far is it? 2. So P is 2. My focus is at 0, 2. And my directrix is at y equals negative 2. Pretty easy so far? So easy, right? Maybe we're going to build on this. Let's work backwards now. Okay? So, if my focus is at 0, 1, do I need my green one too? My focus is at 0, 1, and I like to label these. That's F. That's my focus. And my directrix is at Y equals negative 1. This is usually a dotted one. Y equals negative 1. Focus, directrix. Can you tell me what P is? P has to be 1. Because this must be my vertex. And if P is 1, then how wide is my parabola at the focal point? 4. So kind of this distance right here is the same as this distance here, right? These are the same from the directrix to the focus, from the focus to the point on the parabola, right? So 2, 2, 2, 2. All symmetrical. Yes? I don't know. To be honest with you, I would, yeah, I don't know the answer to that. Good question, though. You like that? Okay. All right. So this the name, and I have no idea why. I have no idea why this is the name of it. But there is a name for this distance to the focal point from the focus like that. That is called, we're going to call it an LLR. And the reason we're going to call it a LLR is because its real name is a lattice rectum. Yes, it's a lattice rectum. Everybody say it with me. Lattice rectum. Good. Let's just get that out of our system right now. Okay. So, since we call it a lattice rectum, we just prefer to call it LLR. Just, it, it just, I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. So, we could. Okay, so the LLR in this case would be 4. That's the distance. I also have, since I know my vertex is at, let me look at my slides and see how far I take this before I do equations. Yeah, okay. All right, so since I have P and I have my LLR and I know <laughs> that my, um, my vertex is at zero, zero, then my, the equation of this parabola is going to be 4y equals x squared, because it's four units wide and there's no shift. Right? Pretty easy? We're good? Thumbs up? Okay. <coughs> okay, let's try this one. So this one, my focus is at one, negative four. One, one, two, three, four. One, negative four. And my directrix, I'm going to label it. I know that's not my, because normally when we plot that point, we're normally talking about our vertex, right? But right now, we're talking about the focus. The directrix is at 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ooh, what's this mean? It's upside down, right? It's going to be negative. Perfect. Okay, so let's find P. So it must be in between here, right? If this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, P must be 4. Here's my vertex. 
if this is 4, then this is 4, then this is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 is 8, right? Because this distance is the same as this distance. Then I need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 out here. These are so fun to draw. I just love these. This is like my favorite unit. Love it. Love conics. Okay. So P is 4. Sorry. P is, yes. P is 4. So P is 4. My LLR is 16. It's 4 times that size, right? So it's going to be 4 times this. Okay. Not squared. Times 4. Are you going to phone? Look up here. All right. So now, but this one has a shift, right? Yeah. This one shifted over one. How do we normally write when something shifted over one? It used to be at zero, right? And now it's been shifted one, right? It's not shifted at all on the Y, but it's 16 Y. Right? It's 16 Y. Okay, so that's the equation of this parabola. Okay. So here is our, this is our um, equation. It's our formal equation. 4P, Y minus K equals X minus H squared. So my 4P is how wide it is. It's always going to be 4 times however much that distance is from the directrix, right? The directrix to the vertex or the vertex to the focus. That, that amount right there, you multiply it by 4 to get how wide it is. How are we doing? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay, you guys have to tell me. You guys are just staring at me. You want to do it? Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. Can we have the homework? Um, why don't you guys, you want to try this one? Okay. Let's see how much I want. I first, I want to know what P is. So get your whiteboards out. Joey, get your whiteboard out. I want to know how much P is. That's all I want to know. Don't show me anything else on that whiteboard. You guys should probably be using the graph, right? So that would be easier. <coughs> I should pause this. So I should have been recording on that one. So my directrix is y equals 2. My vertex is at negative 2, negative 1. Therefore, I know this distance is 3 away then this distance must be 3 away. And if this distance is 3 plus 3, which is 6, then my focal points are going to be out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, my LLR is 12. Therefore, my equation is going to have a 12 out in front of y because it's 12 units wide. Yes. How did I get 12? Because I know that this distance here, right, is P, and this distance is four times as much. It's always going to be four times bigger than that distance. That's why I have this 4P right there. So as soon as you know how that much distance is, you can just multiply it by four, and you'll get, <coughs> so three times four is 12. Make sense? Okay. So now I just have to talk about 
my ship. So I'm just going to kind of fill that in, right? So I have a shift on the x-axis. I've shifted to the left two. When I shift to the left, I get plus two. And then I shifted down one, so this is going to be plus one. Okay, let's do another one, and then I want to get you into homework, because I want you to practice. Yeah, you just use the vertex. Exactly. <coughs> oh, that's my closure. Okay, let's get started on homework. All right, I don't think I've even gotten to the screen before this year. Okay, so what did you learn today? Okay, so we figured out, we learned how to graph parabolas. Let's be simplistic about it. We learned how to graph parabolas using how wide they are, right? Instead of like the old traditional way that we normally would do it. Okay, what's the definition of a parabola? Who could tell me? The definition, there's a distinct definition. Remember we said? Any point that's equidistant from the focus to the directrix. That's what creates a parabola. Okay, what is the relationship between P and the width? Christiana, what's the what's the relationship between P and the width of the parabola? I can't hear you. Remember we just talked about this. P, that number P and the width. What's the relationship? What? It's, it's always four times the width, right? It's always four times. Perfect. That's it. Great. Great job, guys. Let's do more homework. <laughs>